It's clear that 2019 is going to be a big year for gaming laptops, but Asus's ZenBook S13 is a sign that we're going to see the notebook world evolve in even more ways this year. It's a two and a half pound laptop with one of Nvidia's dedicated GPUs, which absolutely trounces the integrated graphics plaguing most light notebooks. And it packs all that power in a sleek frame with some of the thinnest screen bezels I've ever seen. The ZenBook S13 is close to being the laptop of my dreams, one that's incredibly light, but that can also play a few games. When we reviewed the ZenBook S last fall, we found it to be a pretty standard lightweight laptop. It looked fine, but the screen was dull and there just wasn't much to distinguish it from the competition. The S13 takes that basic design and upgrades it in a few key ways. It keeps a sleek metallic case, but shaves the screen borders down considerably, leaving behind a glorious 13.9 inch 1080p display that practically floats above the keyboard. Its large screen delivered bold colors and more than enough brightness while I was playing games and watching movies. It also offers you much more real estate than the 13.3 inch screens in similarly sized laptops. The S13's downward firing speakers sound decent for such a thin machine, but sometimes tough to hear when the laptop's fans are blasting. The bottom of the ZenBook S13 screen tucks beneath the keyboard when you open it up, leaving it completely out of sight. Asus claims it has the thinnest bezels around, measuring 2.5 millimeters thick. They're certainly slim, though Dell's latest XPS 13 looks even thinner, and it has the advantage of a Dolby Vision display option. There's a slightly raised notch at the top of the S13 screen to fit in the webcam. It gives the laptop a unique silhouette that I dig, but I've heard from many people who just find it ugly. That notch also gives you an easy way to open up the S13, but it also seems like it'll make the camera a fingerprint magnet. Unfortunately, the webcam stinks when it comes to actually capturing video and taking photos. Everything just looks muddy and lifeless with very little detail. If you actually care about the quality of your video chats, it's worth investing in a separate webcam. What's really exciting about this laptop though is that Asus managed to cram in dedicated NVIDIA graphics. It's not the powerful GTX and RTX hardware we're seeing in true gaming laptops, but the MX150 GPU in the S13 is a huge leap over the integrated graphics found on Intel CPUs, which can barely play any games. The MX150 has been showing up in notebooks since it launched in 2017, including last year's ZenBook 13 and the Razer Blade Stealth, but those machines all weighed close to 3 pounds. While the S13 is only a bit lighter, it's still a notable achievement for Asus. While playing Overwatch in 1080p, I saw between 40 and 50 frames per second with medium graphics settings. And when I dropped the graphics down to a lower quality setting, the frame rate jumped up to between 60 and 70 FPS. I settled on a slightly lower 1600 by 900 resolution with medium settings for the best balance of performance and graphics quality. I saw a steady 70 FPS with that configuration, and the game looked pretty good and played smoothly. Sure, most gaming notebooks these days can get you upwards of 100 FPS in Overwatch at 1080p, but they also all weigh over 4.5 pounds. The ZenBook S13 clocks in at about half that weight. It's a solid choice for anyone looking for a light machine that can still give them a bit of a frag fix. The system choked a bit on more complex games though, and only saw around 24 FPS in Forza Horizon 4 in 720p and 1080p, no matter the graphics settings. In Destiny 2, I saw a more playable 35 to 50 FPS in 720p. Still, if it's fast enough for Overwatch, the S13 should be more than enough for less demanding titles like The Sims 4. And since the ZenBook S13 handled some games easily, it had no trouble dealing with my usual workflow. That involves juggling dozens of Chrome and Edge tabs, editing huge photos, and streaming either Netflix or Spotify. Our review unit featured an Intel Core i7-8565U CPU, 16GB of RAM, and a 512GB NVMe SSD, so it's pretty capable even without the NVIDIA GPU. The S13's keyboard and trackpad were also solid. Typing felt great with a solid amount of key travel and responsiveness. And the trackpad was on par with what we've seen from some recent Windows notebooks. It's pretty smooth and accurate. I just wish Asus moved the fingerprint sensor away from the upper right corner of the trackpad where it tends to get in the way. I appreciated being able to log into Windows quickly with my finger, but that's something Asus could have placed just about anywhere else on the S13. As for ports, this laptop has most of what you'd want. Two USB-C connections for charging, and a USB 3.1 Type-A connection for older devices. There's also a microSD card slot, though I really wish it was full-sized, which would make it much easier to offload photos from my camera. Asus also bundles a mini dock with a USB-C, USB Type-A, and HDMI ports. Unfortunately, we didn't get one with our review unit. As for battery life, the S13 typically lasts around six hours in real-world usage, but of course, playing games lowers that significantly. Asus hasn't settled on a price yet for the ZenBook S13, but it's easy to tell what it's competing against just about every single ultra portable out there, including our favorites like the Dell XPS 13 and the Surface laptop. In most cases, the S13 has the advantage of Nvidia's MX150. When compared to the few laptops with that GPU, it's also far lighter. 
If you're in the market for an ultra portable this year, you're gonna have some difficult choices to make. And from what we've seen, the new XPS 13 looks like it'll be yet another solid entry in that series, especially with the addition of Dolby Vision HDR. But Overwatch will still run like garbage on it. While the ZenBook S13 might seem like just another ultra portable on the surface, its dedicated graphics and glorious thin bezel screen help it stand out. Asus is known for experimenting with new designs and its laptops, like with last year's ZenBook Pro, which tucked in a screen inside its trackpad. It's not always clear if those design risks will pay off, but in this case, it feels like Asus is genuinely pushing the industry forward a bit.